Great, now it works! And everyone's ears have blown out. It's the Joker's Wild! There we go, sorry about everyone's ears. Um, yeah, we're gonna play the Joker's Wild now. And I'm gonna hit the button to make the thing stop now. There it is. Apologies to everyone's ears. Um. <laughs> This is not a quality buried and right production right now. Yeah, well, my goodness. I mean, for Jack and Dan are rolling in their graves. <laughs> so, uh, uh, let's welcome to the game where knowledge is king and Lady Luck is queen. It's the Joker's Law. <laughs> let's introduce our two contestants. First off, we have Kim from Baltimore, Maryland. And we have Elaine from Washington, D.C. Hello. Hello. Let's first say hi to Kim. Uh, Kim, how are you today? I am stellar. Stellar. That's that's a good way to put things. How has how has your week under quarantine been? Well, it's Tuesday, although it's hard to believe that. Um, but um, in Baltimore, the I Heart City Life people, we just released a beer from Full Tilt. So that was exciting. So I got to see it canned. Um, yeah. Nice. That's mm -hmm. exciting. Is it good? Feel free to look at the video on my Facebook Live. Ooh. I mean, on Facebook Live. I'll have to go check it out. It's a session IPA. It'll be great next week. Oh, okay. Literally just put it in a can today. Oh, okay, got it. It has to have all that aluminum to really age it. Something, some kind of settling. Mm -hmm. And Elaine is here. Hi, Elaine. Hi, Corey. How are you? I'm doing pretty good. How are you? Doing well, all things considered. Sure. So what have you been doing with your time? Uh, working, uh, mm -hmm. cleaning, cooking, kind of like what a lot of people right now are doing, but you know, trying to make the best use of my time. There's a lot of home cook renaissance going on right now. Yeah, I mean, that's normal for me though. So like, you know, everybody else is posting pictures of bread on Instagram, like, <laughs> but I always do, it's normal. <laughs> yeah, no, your Insta's really good. I, I love all the food you post. Thank you. No problem. So. Um, first things first, before I explain the rules, I'll show the categories for round one. And they are Flags of the World, Geography, The Frat Pack, Home Economics, and Board Games. Stopped rather abruptly. All right. <laughs> so here's how the game works. Um, Elaine, because you live the furthest from my specific house, you're going to go first. All right. Uh, you're going to tell me to spin the wheels, and I'll spin the wheels. Um, a different combination of categories will pop up. Whatever pops up in the windows, you'll be able to choose as your category. Okay. Um, if there's, if you pick a category of that in which only one is showing, it's a fifty dollar question. Uh, a double's worth a hundred. A uh, natural triple is worth 200. There are jokers on the screen, uh, jokers on the reels. Jokers uh, count as a wild for any of the categories. Three jokers will give you a, you can pick any category. You can pick any category and take it for 500. Okay. Um, 500 points, dollars, whatever, wins the game and moves on to the bonus round. Um, if there's a joker and you don't like any of the categories you see, you can go off the board and pick any of the other categories. Does that make sense, both of you? Total sense. Mm -hmm. Okay. Elaine, you get to go first. Are you ready? I'm ready. All right. Uh, make a large gesture when you want to spin the wheel. <laughs> home economics and flags of the world. Uh, let's go with home economics. Okay. Home economic. Oh, I have to click this. Home economics for 50. And you are Elaine, and Kim is over here. Okay. First question in home economics. When washing clothes, a lone circle on a garment tag indicates that the article should be washed how? Uh, should be dry cleaned. Did you know that, or are you guessing? 
No, I have studied these symbols because like they don't write words on clothing labels anymore. They really don't. And yes, that is correct. Well done. <laughs> Thank uh, you. Does this make noise if I hit that? No, it doesn't do anything. Okay, so yeah, fifty dollars is what you have. And this pen is all of my pens today. <laughs> all right. Uh, <laughs> that sounded worse than it was supposed to be. I'm actually fine. Um, okay, so Elaine, you have fifty dollars, and Kim, it's your turn. Are you ready, Kim? I'm ready. All right. Make a large. Oh, there it is. More games, home economics, and a Joker. Ooh. Um. I will take, um, so the Joker doubles it? The Joker counts as a wild, so if you picked board games or home economics, it would be worth 100. Mm. Yeah, or you yeah. can go off the board okay. for 50. No, I will do board games for 100. Okay, board games for 100. Here's the question. Inconsequentially is one of the longest words that you can form, mostly because QU is on one block, in what word game? Scrabble. Scrabble is incorrect. Uh, Elaine, mm -hmm. you have a chance to take it if, for $100, right? That's how that works, right, Jonathan? I look to you because I can see you. That is correct. <laughs> okay, good. Thank you, all you goddamn nerds. All right, Elaine, for $100, it's not Scrabble. What is it? Words with, oh, it's board game, so boggle? Boggle is the correct answer, yes. Yes, boggle is correct okay, because uh, QU is... Uh, it's a single tile. Uh, yeah, it's two different tiles in yeah. Scrabble, but in Boggle, it's on the one block. So you take $100, and now you have 150 Elaine. 150 to nothing, 500 wins the game. Elaine, it's your turn. All right. Spin. Board games, geography, home economics. Let's go with board games. Let's go board games for 50, the answer, the question. Uh, let's, let's keep going here. In the board game Scrabble, the word rat is worth how many points? Three points. R is one, T is one, A is one. Three is correct. You have two hundred dollars. Right. All righty, Kim. You're down two hundred nothing. Uh, two hundred two nothing. You know what's really hard? Talking with your voice in your ear. I hate this. This is the worst. So that's why I sound drunk. I'm actually completely sober. I'm mostly sober. Uh, you sound Kim. Except for the whole rambling to yourself thing. Okay. Spin. Spin. <laughs> In the world of Fred Pack and board games. Mm. I don't even know what Frat Pack is, so I'm going to go with board games. Board games for 50. The question is this. Which classic board game in which players can choose to go to college, have twins, and retire in millionaire estates was the only board game invented by Milton Bradley? The Game of Life. The game of life is correct. You have fifty dollars. You're on the board. All right. Whoop whoop. Everybody, give a whoop whoop. So, I'm going to uh, fix this. And Elaine, it's your turn. You're back. Hello. Hello. Spin. Oh, I got all ready to, and I forgot to. <laughs> okay. Board games, geography. Uh, home economics. Home economics for another 50. Here's the question. A fermented mixture of, oh, Jesus. A fermented mixture of flour and water containing a colony of microorganisms, which is then mixed with flour and water and used to create sourdough bread is commonly known as what? A starter. It's a starter. Yeah, that was a very timely question. <laughs> Oh, for two, After we really talked about her making bread all the time, really. Although I don't make sourdough, but still. <laughs> I have seen people in our local neighborhood groups offering starters in little jars to give out to the neighborhood, which is We're very thoughtful of them all. Super set up. <laughs> Kim, you are down by 200 points. Would you like to spin? You have no choice. Yeah. Spin. 
Y'all just seen Tomek and a Joker. Oh my God, this is horrible. Um, I guess I would do economics. Economics for 50 or 100? 100. Yeah, that's a dumb question, but I have to ask. Pretty simple. How many cups are in a gallon? It's not simple. <laughs> How many cups are in a gallon? Um, uh, 64? It is not 64, no. What uh, was the other one then? How many cups are for for a hundred dollars steal oh uh, yes i'll steal oh uh, what's the answer it should be how many cups in a gallon yes um uh that would be uh, six sixteen <laughs> <or is it> 32 <laughs> how many cups are in a gallon Two cups in a pint. Two pints in a quart. Sixteen. Four quarts Sixteen is correct. Sixteen is correct. I'm going to tell her to double check. Uh, <laughs> you know, uh, sixteen. Yeah, it's a uh, four cups is a pint. Four pints are a gallon. Yes, I think that's right. Yeah, but <laughs> any regards, sixteen is the answer. You now have three hundred fifty dollars. You're a hundred and fifty dollars away from winning the game and moving on to the beat the devil round. It's your spin. All right. Yeah. I will spin. Games, Homek, a double. Uh, let's go for more money, Homek. Home economics for $100. What common household ingredient useful for everything? Oh my God, I hate this. What common household ingredient useful for everything from removing mildew to topping salads is produced by the fermentation of ethanol or sugar by acetic acid bacteria? Uh, vinegar. Vinegar is the correct answer for 100. You have $450. Um, been... Kim, you yeah. are far behind. Ben. I know. Ben. Okay, here we go. Joker geography in the back. Oh, God. I guess I'll take the frat pack for a hundred. You have to forgive me. I cannot hear what you're saying. And the frat pack else. for a hundred. Wait. Oh. Did you hear me? Let me just give me one sec here. Uh, what was your category? What was your choice again? I said the frat pack for a hundred. Oh, there it is. There you go. Now I heard you. Okay, frat pack for a hundred. There's a picture of Will Ferrell there. That should have given a little bit of a hint away. Now, here's a question. Mitchapalooza, a large party featuring Snoop Dogg, is thrown in honor of the main character of which collegiate set comedy starring members Luke Wilson, Vince Vaughn, and Will Ferrell, likely owing to the genesis of the term frat pack? Yeah, I have no idea. I've never even seen a Will Ferrell movie. Or Luke Wilson, or whoever the other person you said. Yeah, nope, I have no idea. You have said so many things that I could not hear. This stupid bullshit. Oh. <laughs> I'm sure everyone else in the thing heard it, but I couldn't I hear I it. So I'm going to just <laughs> rejigger things again. This is the worst. I apologize profusely for all of this. Okay. Um, what's your answer? <laughs> My answer is I don't know. I don't watch any of those people. That's fair. All right. Um, Elaine, this is for the steal and the win. Do, do you well, know the answer? answer? I'm trying to remember uh, how this works. Like, if I get it wrong, do I lose 100 off of mine? Or no, it's there's no Jeopardy involved here. Okay. Uh, is it old school? Old school is the correct answer. Um, that was supposed to have more fanfare. One of these buttons. <laughs> No? Uh, yeah. you win. I feel like Sash should be more than happy to play because I just lost I think 550 to 50. I think I think Sash should definitely play the next game, but I'm just saying. In the meantime, Kim, thank you so much for playing. No problem. We're really glad to have you here. And Elaine, it's time for you. To join me in the bonus round. All right. Whee! 
All right. So first things first, I really would love if I could hear anyone. I don't know what is happening, but I can't hear anyone. And it's no one's fault but this goddamn stupid computer. There we go. Okay. Elaine, here's, a bonus. here's how the bonus round works. Um, I've got reels from $25 to $200 here. They also have devils on them, like you can see on my shirt. That's right. Buy now at Teespring, no, tpublic.com slash pack. Um, maybe, I don't know. Anyway, uh, if you can get to $1,000 or more, I'm going to give you uh, a prize, and it's going to be nice. It's a nice prize. It's, I think it's five bucks. I'm going to give you five. I'm going to give you five dollars in Amazon money. That's how this is going to work. Um, and if you can win three times in a row, if you can beat the devil three times in a row, I will give you, and this is real, I'll give you $50 in cash. Well, okay. in Amazon money. Isn't that exciting? It's a, it's a fun time for everyone. So would you like to take your first spin? Yes. Okay. Just make a, a heady hand motion when you're ready to spin. There we go. <laughs> Starting off with 75, 250, 325 dollars. There is no uh there's no penalty for stopping, I suppose. I don't really know. So do you want to keep going or do you want to stop? Uh keep going. Okay. Uh grand hand motion when you're ready to go. Yeah. 150, 50, 50. So that's another uh, $250. You have 575. All right, I got to get to 1,000. And if I. I if should I probably one... add a Jeopardy to this entire endeavor, but I don't know what it could possibly be. And since I can't hear anyone because everything is terrible, um, we'll just have to move on. I, why can't I hear? Ah! What do you want to do? What was that? Why did that noise happen? What is going on? I don't know. I can't hear anyone anymore. Elaine, what would you like to do? Uh, so again, if I, do I if I get to a thousand without hitting a devil. Yes, you yes. should try. Okay. Yeah, I might as well try. Oh. Well, that was sad and uneventful. But everyone give it a hand for Elaine, who is our returning champion. Yay. Yay! This game is rough, and I don't know if it's the game or if it's me. It might be me. What are, can I, how do I just, I just want to hear. Nope. Okay. So that works. But maybe if I do this, maybe that will help. I don't know what will help. Anyhow. Aren't you in the game one? So either way, it's your fault. The problem is, <laughs> so... I gotta go against Elaine. Yes, that's how this game works. Oh my god! But she. <laughs> I do apologize, kind of. Fine. Anyway, but at least there's new categories. Does that help? Sure. All right. Well, let's meet our new contestant. It's a uh, Sass. Hi, Sass. Hello. Someone. There we go. At this point, I don't even care. I don't even care what's happening. I just, it's nice to see you, Sass. Nice to see you too, Corey. Oh, how's life been for you? Uh, my back hurts. I ordered an office chair. I'm waiting for it to come, but you know, it's not priority on Amazon's list. So. <laughs> Girl, let me tell you, the yeah. second day I started working from home, my back was killing me. Yes. And so I uh, posted something on our local yard sale group and I asked them, is anyone selling a, a chair? Because my ass hurts. <laughs> Three people were like, here's our chair. So Bring it to my house and I'll I, give you cash. I don't have community, so <laughs> I have to rely on Amazon. That's a fair point. Well, uh, more power to you. Thank and you. I hope. I hope your back feels better. Thank you. Shall we uh, see the categories for round two? Yes. Okay, here they are. They are. So a link to wash me. Science. Oh my God. Philadelphia. Oh. Movies. <laughs> the Simpsons. Plastic. Mm. So, um, 
sass. You seem to really like the categories. Uh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Rip. Okay, so, uh, Sass, you're the challenger. You get to go first. Are you ready to spin the wheels? Yeah. Okay, here we go. Philadelphia, science, or movies? Philadelphia, science, or movies? Uh, uh, see, I know your movies are going to be too hard. And I don't know what you could pull out for Philly. So I'm going to just go with science because, like, you can't make science up. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's your rationale. Yeah. You can't make up science. <laughs> Fuck me. All right. Here we go. <laughs> your first question. Gas formed in the synovial fluid being released rapidly, generally harmless, despite what your mom says, Explains the noise made when you do what bad habit? What bad habit? When you crack your knuckles. Are you getting help? No. Yeah, bullshit. Uh, yeah. Cracking your knuckles is the correct answer. Well done. <laughs> That's why we can make you keep the video on so we can see you look to... I'm right here. <laughs> yeah, okay. Elaine, it's your turn. All right. <laughs> All right, here's your... Science and a triple. Ooh. Damn, Elaine about to wash me. <laughs> so I could eat. So if I pick a category that's not science, I then can get a. It's a hundred dollar question. Yes. And if I pick science, it then becomes two hundred dollar question. A two hundred dollar question. Uh, I will try my hand at science then. Okay. So one minute. Two hundred dollar question in science. Here's the question from the Latin argentum. Meaning, meaning shiny or white, what element, atomic number 47, has the symbol AG? Silver. Some people would say it was gold. <laughs> Silver is the correct answer. You have $200. Yes. Sass, it's your turn. Are you ready? Mm-hmm. <laughs> you have such attitude. Spin it! <laughs> Simpsons. Plastic movies or The Simpsons? Oh, I what? thought you were picking plastic. What's Oops. a pick? Mo no. No. Uh, movies. Okay, movies for No, no, I'm going to regret this. You, I'm going to lose. Go ahead. Movies. Movies. For, okay, it's gonna say plastic. Oh, you know, I don't have to hit anything. It's not doing nothing. All right, uh, movies for fifty dollars. In the film *The Wizard of Oz*, the sleep-inducing poppy scene showcased snowfall crafted from what harmful fire retardant substance? Oh, I know that. Um, asbestos. Asbestos is the correct answer. Yay! Well <laughs> Yay! Oh Jesus God! Ah! <laughs> you have a. You have $100. Thank you. Elaine, you have $200. And uh, would you like to spin? I would like to spin. All right, here we go. <laughs> Movie, The Simpsons, Philadelphia. Uh, I'm going to go with The Simpsons. Oh, boy. <laughs> Simpsons for 50. Which Simpsons character bared all in the October 2009 issue of Playboy magazine in celebration of the show's 20th anniversary? Somebody was in Playboy. Um, Marge? Marge Simpson. Yes. The correct answer, you have $250. <laughs> wow. Well done. That's probably the safest answer you could have given for that question. <laughs> Anything else, I'd have to call the FBI. Unless it was like Homer or something, and you know. <laughs> I'm gonna have to sit and draw that. But then again, rule, rule 34. <laughs> Stupid sexy Flanders. Eskia, <laughs> it's your turn. You are down by $150. But that's not mm -hmm. too bad. Mm -hmm. Like a spin? Mm -hmm. Okay, here we go. Joker! Joker! The Simpsons. 
Damn it. The show that I was not allowed to watch as a child. Let's see how this goes. I'm sorry. <laughs> this is for 200. Here's the question. Which main character is the only one of the Simpsons to have dialogue in every single episode? Bart? To take the lead. No I'm way. Correct. No way. Uh, Elaine, chance for you to take a commanding lead. Uh, Homer. Homer Simpson is the correct answer. You have four hundred fifty dollars. All right. So, All right, Elaine. I will spin. Here we go. Plastic. Philadelphia. Uh, we're gonna try plastic. Okay, plastic. For fifty, uh, this will give you five hundred points. But Sass still gets one last spin. If you get this right, card before the horse. Anyway, uh, here's the question: <laughs> In plastic, in which African country, whose capital is Kigali, can smugglers of now illegal plastic bags be fined, jailed, or forced to make public confessions? What was the capital you said? Kigali. Um, I don't know. Okay. Sass, you can steal for 50. This is sad. I just left a job that did work primarily in Africa. I don't know. I, I don't know. Oh, it's a tough one. The correct answer is Rwanda. Rwanda. Plastic bags are illegal in Rwanda. Interesting. Good to know. No money on the board. No money changes hands. Saskia, uh, it's your turn. Spin. Joker, the Simpsons, and science. Mm, science. For 100? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Here's the question in science. Trepanation is the process of doing what to a skull in order to release pressure buildup or to treat intracranial disease? Drilling a hole in it like House did that one time. Is the correct answer drilling a hole in it like House that one time? Yes, you are absolutely correct. <laughs> And now you're responsible for giving 45 people on Twitch a seizure. <laughs> Sass, you have 200. Elaine, you have 450. Elaine, it's your turn. Are you ready? I'm ready. Let's spin. There you go. Joker. Philadelphia. Uh, you know, being only me $50, I will take, use my wild card and uh, take the Simpsons. Okay. I'm going to hit the Simpsons for 50. You should have paid to Philly for me, Elaine. <laughs> <laughs> That's a smart move. Look at that. She's blocking the steal. Um, here's the question in the Simpsons. Who is the only Beatle to not guest appear in an episode of the Simpsons? Let's see. George Harrison was on the Beatles. Paul McCartney was on the Beatles. Ringo, I believe, was on the Beatles. Uh, was on the Simpsons. Um, mm. Gonna need an answer. Yeah, no, it's <laughs> why am I blanking out on the fourth Beatle here? It's uh, it's not, it's not George Harrison. It's not. Oh, um. John Lennon was not on the Simpsons. <laughs> John Lennon is the correct answer. Yeah, oh, dollars. Brain fart. <laughs> he was dead. So yes, he was dead. <laughs> so sass. Elaine has five hundred dollars. Um, You'll have won the game if you get your last spin and you do not spin three jokers. If I if get spin. If I spin and I don't get three jokers. 
then Elaine wins the game. Okay. Carry on. Right. Spin. Are you ready? Mm-hmm. All right, here's your last spin. No, that's over. And Elaine wins the game. I would love Is there Congratulations, a... Elaine. It was a very good game. <laughs> Thanks. One of these buttons is going to play the goddamn bonus round. Oh, that's what that button does. So, Elaine, you have won once again, and we're going to bring you to the bonus round one more time. Saskia, thank you so much for playing. You actually did very well. Everyone give Saskia lots of claps. She did thank you, good. Corey, and to everyone else, to know me is to understand how great of a feat this is. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> Nothing to be afraid of. <laughs> <laughs> so, Elaine, you've already banked $5 out of my pocket. Ooh. Uh, no, you didn't, because you no. got a devil. So you have. I, I got a devil. I was like, wait, yeah. did the rule change then? Nope. Did I not understand we'll correctly? I forgot. <laughs> ready to try again? I'm ready to try again. Okay. Remember, thousand uh, dollars. Here's your first spin. All right. Five, two hundred, two hundred, or twenty-five. All We're right. almost halfway there already. That's right. Let's try this again. Take a spin. One hundred fifty seven twenty five. No, two twenty five off. Let's try another spin. All right, here we go. Fifty two hundred seventy five. You've won. Woo! Exciting for you. I'm excited for you. I'm excited for me too. Let's meet our new contestant. It's Julie. She's from Baltimore. <laughs> and she looks very happy right now. Yeah. Julie, it's so good to see you. How has your quarantine been? You too. You know, it's um it's been good. Here with my cat. Just Where's got the some cat? falafel. That's Where's pretty much Yeah. I'm playing Where's a game. Everything? So I can't complain. I'm glad you can't complain. Um, shall we see the categories for round three? Yes. Okay, let's see them. Mean Girl. <laughs> Birds. Around the World. Good Eats. And Lemons. I was wondering if Sass was going to get a Mean Girls question when plastic kept coming up, and now I have a Mean Girls category. That's a whole Mean Girls. That's, that's Sass's favorite movie. It's true. It really is true. Um, oh, I have to write names down. Elaine and Julie. Okay, Julie, are you ready to go? Yes. Okay. Oh, what do I have to do again? Yeah, spin. Yep, there you go. Good Eats, Mean Girls, and a Joker. Let's do Good Eats. Okay, for a hundred dollars. The question is this. Its origin debated between Spain and Puerto Rico, which traditional dish is literally translate, translated as rice with chicken? Arroz con pollo. Arroz con pollo is correct. You have $100. Yay. Elaine, our two game champion so far. Are you ready? I'm ready. Here we go. Good Eats, Joker, Mean Girls. Uh, good Eats. Good Eats for 100 The answer, the question is this. What chocolate confectionery, usually a ganache center covered in a hardened chocolate shell, is named for its resemblance to a specific type of edible fungi? Edib edible what? Fungi. Oh, edible fungi. Um, I'm thinking uh, it has a ganache in the center. Mm -hmm. uh, like a bonbon? But that doesn't make sense for the fungi part. <laughs> uh, bonbon is incorrect. Julie, chance to steal a hundred dollars. Would you be able to repeat the question? Absolutely. What chocolate confectionery, usually a ganache center covered in a hardened chocolate shell, oh. is named for its resemblance to a specific type of edible fungi? 
Would that be a truffle? It would be a truffle for a hundred dollars. <laughs> Julie, you have two hundred dollars, and it is your turn. So I just say spin, right? I kind yep. of forgot how to play already. Uh, spin. There it is. Around the world, good eats. Around the world. I'll take around the world. Around the world for a hundred. Here's the question. In which European capital city would you find the Van Gogh Museum, the Anne Frank House, and Reich's Museum? That would be Amsterdam. For $300, Amsterdam is the correct answer. Well done. Yay! 300 to nothing so far, Elaine. It is now your turn. All right, spin. Joker, around the world, and lemons. Uh... Let's do lemons. I just, I have to try lemons. <laughs> okay, whole category on lemons. Question number one. The procedure for taking a shot of what alcohol traditionally involves licking salt off your hands, pounding the shot, then sucking on a lemon wedge? Oh, of course, it's a question about alcohol. Take oh. a um, A vodka shot? I mean, it's <laughs> No, sorry, it's not a vodka shot. Julie, for the steal, you lush. What is the answer? I don't know. Oh. Can I skip okay. it? I, you, take a guess. It's a free guess. Wait, what was it? It's the alcohol that you take a shot of. I don't really drink, except for right. when I do the game show gauntlet. <laughs> Thank you for your support. Uh, licking salt off your hand, uh -huh. take the shot, then sucking on a lemon wedge. Something with lemon in it. Something with the word lemon in it, like a lemon something. Like a lemon just drop. No, stop. Stop. No. Uh, it's it's tequila. Tequila. Oh. Oh. Yeah, I don't drink that. <laughs> That's fair. None of you are I knew it wasn't vodka, but I'm like, what else <laughs> blank it out of my alcohol that I don't drink. You don't do vodka shots. You drink it straight out of the bottle to make the crying stop. The tango. <laughs> Julie, it's your turn. Okay, so spin. Joker, good eats, and good eats. That's a triple. What happens with the Joker again? Don't laugh at me. You just, it's a random question. So if you pick the Joker, mm -hmm. In this situation, you uh -huh. can take a $50 question in any of the other categories, and it's your choice. I'll keep going with Good Eats. Okay, Good Eats for $200. This will put you to $500. Oh, boy. And this could give you the win. Oh, Here's man. Question in Good Eats. On the television series Crazy Ex-Girlfriend, the titular character has an obsession with, among other things, what bread snack which is knotted and blanched in baking soda before baked and topped with toppings like salt or cinnamon sugar. Pretzel? I've never seen the show. You should see it. It's fantastic. But pretzel is the correct answer! That was a $200 question. Nice. The value is indiscriminate. Yay! <laughs> Elaine, you have one last chance. All right. I was a spin. All right, here we go. We need three jokers. And that's not it. I'm sorry. Oh. Elaine, you have been dethroned. It's okay. It was a lot of fun. <laughs> I'm glad you had fun. Yes. Uh, I, do, I do owe you a prize, and I will get that to you in your email probably tomorrow. Yeah. Exciting. <laughs> Yay! And Julie, it's your turn for the bonus round. Okay, so I don't remember what happened. <laughs> okay, so here's the, do you see the slot machine? Yes. Okay, I've got reels from 25 to $200. There's also devils on there, like the shirt. Uh-huh, okay. Um, you need to get to $1,000 to get a prize. Oh, right, and you can't get the, the devil. Devil, right. Right, okay, so I just say spin? Yes. Spin. 50, 100, 175. Shall we keep going? Yeah. 
<laughs> 75, 75, 200. Yay! <laughs> um, <laughs> this is really stressful. I know. And there's there's nothing you can do. You just have to keep playing. Oh, okay. Let's spin again then. Okay. 25, 275. You have 825. Awesome. $175 away. Okay, so I just spin again. Spin again? <laughs> spin again. 25, 150, 100. That's a win! Yay! <laughs> that was fun. That was a lot of fun. Good. Had all the easy questions. All right. So I've run out of categories, fun. but I've not run out of questions. So here's what I'm going to do. We're going to just go back to the beginning of the questions. Is my screen there now? Yeah, I'm, I should be back. Uh, we need a new challenger. So where's my little die here? And 14. That's going to be Amanda Miller. Can you... Are you there? Can you hear me? Hi, everyone. Hey, hey, long time no see, girly. How are you doing? I'm doing as well as can be. How are you? I'm good. Thanks for hosting this. Very no problem. I hope it's entertaining. It's not. Okay, that's fine. Uh, <laughs> uh, let's introduce our new contestant. She's from Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, and she's cooler than I am. She's Amanda. because we have a new champion in Julie. Julie and Amanda. And these categories will seem awfully familiar, but we have a lot of questions still. And here they are. Flags of the world. Geography. The frat pack. Home economics. And board games. Amanda, you are the challenger, so you get to go first. Have, are you fully versed in the rules of the game? I believe so. Okay, so uh, sp just say when and I'll spin the wheels. <laughs> geography, the frat pack, and a double. You can take geography for $50 or the frat pack for 100 I'll do frat pack. All right. Oh, excuse me. There you go. I've broken the thing. That's fine. The frat pack. Here's the question in the frat pack. The final scene in the film, This is the End shows frat pack adjacent actors Jay Baruchel and Seth Rogen dancing with which popular boy band? Um, I saw this movie too. It's pretty sad. Um, NSYNC? It is not NSYNC. No, Julie, for $100, can you name that boy band? I didn't make it to the end of This is the End. I fell asleep. <laughs> oh, no. So... What happens if I get it wrong again? Do I just lose? No harm, no foul. Okay, I'm gonna say the Backstreet Boys then. So that's just a guess? Yes. It's a very good guess. You're absolutely right for $100. Cool. Well done. It's a good film. I just started rewatching it? it. Yeah, I like it. I guess, I don't know. I don't know movies. I don't know. Uh, Julie, it's your turn. Okay, spin please. <laughs> That's interesting. Let's try to fix that. There we go. <laughs> Home economics, the frat pack, and a double. I'll take the frat pack. For 50? No, I'll Home take economics uh, for 100. Home economics. Someone's at the door, by the way. Oh, yeah, it's my nephew. Oh, okay. That's fine, too. Social distance. Here's the question The first commercial use of this synthetic polymer was for bristled toothbrushes in 1938 and during world war ii most production was diverted for parachutes and parachute cord created by the dupont company in the 20s and 30s name this thermoplastic silky material nylon nylon is the correct answer for a hundred dollars julie has 200 amanda has zero it is now amanda's turn all right, spin it. Here we go. Joker, Homac, and a triple. Guess we're going with Homac. Sounds like it. For $200 to tie the game, here's the question. 
in late 2017, a fad involving filming yourself attempting to consume single-use detergent capsules was known as what kind of challenge? The Tide Pod Challenge. Mmm, delicious. You are correct for $200. You've tied up the game. Woo. You look so pleased. I, I'm sad I have to know, like, I actually know that answer. And that actually occurred, but. I'm proud of you. What are you drinking? What is that? Ballast Point uh, Grapefruit Sculpin IPA. Ooh, that sounds delicious. For people who like that sort of thing. Yeah. <laughs> Julie, it's your turn. Sin, please. Joker board games to the world. I'll take board games. Okay, board games for a hundred. Here's the next question in board games. The board game Carcassonne depicts a medieval fortified town located in what European country? I've never played this game somehow. <laughs> we almost played so many times at work. <laughs> um Sorry, did you say city or country? European country. country? Yeah. France. If it was city, it would be remarkably simple. Because <laughs> the city is Carcassonne, and the oh. country is <laughs> France. You are correct. You have $300. I hear it's great, though, but just it's a, long. It's apparently, it's a very nice game, but I've never played it. I don't even own it in my millions of board games back here. I don't own it. Never played it. Seen it played. Seems nice. Hey man, are you ready? Yep. Spin it. Go. Geography flags of the world and a double. Geography, I guess. It's going to be embarrassing. Geography, I guess. Here's the question. The zip code 10112 is reserved for addresses in what famous New York skyscraper, the main setting for an NBC sitcom starring Tina Fey? Oh, Rockefeller Center. Right? Specifically, which building in Rockefeller Center? Oh. Well, actually, that's no. No, I need you to be more specific. Oh, I know. Isn't it? Um, don't they work for NBC? I don't know. I can't get more specific than what I said. Rockefeller's, yeah. I need you to tell me which building in Rockefeller Center. Oh, yeah, I don't know. Okay. Julie, to steal? Amanda, I feel like you know it. You don't remember the name of the show? Okay. Oh. 30 Rock. Duh. 30 Rock is the correct answer. Yes, correct. 30 Rockefeller Plaza. I needed the the building itself. No, no. Got it. Another show I've never seen. Now's a good time to catch up. I it's, know. Uh, people really like that one. It's very good. And then once you once you get through it once, you can just put it on shuffle. Because it doesn't. Yeah. Is Billy Eichner on that? I don't think he is. So oh, okay. No, I'm getting the shows confused. Never mind. Oh, what are you drinking? Oh, this is a Meadworks Sizer. Ooh. Like half mead, half cider, but like really dry and light and delicious. I, I highly recommend drink. it. I would drink and This it has um, hibiscus in it. Ooh, that sounds mm -hmm. delightful. Julie, it's your turn. You have 300. Man, it's 300. <laughs> Joker, flags of the world and the games. I don't know how well I'll do with flags, so I'll take board games again. Okay, board games. <laughs> Goku replaces Boardwalk in an official Monopoly game based on what anime property? Anime property? Yes, I'm. I don't know. Okay. It's some like Pokemon Go type thing. It's not Pokemon Go. No. Okay. Um, Amanda, I don't know. Chance to steal. Goku replaces Boardwalk in an official Monopoly game based on what anime property? Dragon Ball Z. You said that with. You're so adjacent oh. to so many people who like Dragon Ball Z. I can feel it in your soul. Uh, Dragon Ball Z is the correct answer. You have taken the lead. Beep, 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 beep. <laughs> uh, Amanda, you have $400. Julie has $300. It is your turn. Are you ready? Yes. 
Here we go, and spin! <laughs> Flags of the World of Frat Pack Home Economics! Mm, let's try Frat Pack. Okay, the Frat Pack for 50. Won't get you the win, but it'll get you close. Former KYW-TV and WDIV news reporter Mort Krim confirmed in an interview that he was the inspiration for Will Ferrell's portrayal of Ron Burgundy in what popular 2000s comedy film? Anchorman. Anchorman is the correct answer for 50 more dollars. You have $450. Woo Julie, you are down by 150. Oh, Juliet. wow. That happened so quickly. It really <laughs> did. Life comes at you fast. Is it my turn? Sorry. It is. Spin. Spin. Flags of the world. Flags of the world. Geography. Oh, geez. All right, let's do geography. Geography for 50. Here's the question. I'm not going to get this. Uh, let's see. The Bosphorus Strait acts as a border between Asia and Europe, which splits which country's capital between the two? Russia. Russia is incorrect. No, I, I know what it is. Okay. Amanda. If you can steal this, you'll have $500 and you'll have won the game. So it's between right? Asia, right Asia and Europe? Yes, uh, the Bosphorus Strait acts as a border between Asia and Europe, which splits which country's capital between the two? Really bad guess, China. Not China either. No, it's Turkey. It's Turkey. Yeah. Oh, my Turkey. boss is Turkish. Oh, uh, well, don't let him watch this. I will not let her watch this. Perfect. Um, so, no harm, no foul. Amanda, it is now your turn. Okay, spin. Flags of the world, flags of the world. Home economics. I'll go with home economics. Home economics for 50. This will give you $500. Here's the question. Where's the question? Here it is. The process of treating a cast iron skillet to a process of cleaning, applying a thin layer of oil or lard, and the heating the cookware in a high heat oven in order to create a non-stick coating is known as what? Uh. Someone on Twitch, clip that specific noise, please. Thank you. <laughs> I don't I think it's non-stick, but I don't think that's right. Non-stick is incorrect. Julie, for $50. It's seasoning. Seasoning your pan is correct. You have $350. Oh, Sass is, knows a lot of these. She's very, she's very happy. Uh, spin, please. Okie dokes. Joker, home economics, economics of the world. Let's do um, Joker. Okay. You just the Joker? Wait, what? what's the thing with the Joker again? I'm sorry. You, you can pick any other category in this instance for $50. And they're all $50, right? If you pick home ec or flags of the world, it'd be $100. Okay, let's do flags of the world. Okay, for a hundred. The question is this. Where are all the flag questions? There they are. Every country's flag is shaped as either a square or a rectangle, except for one, mainly landlocked between China and India. What country's flag is formed by two pennants representing the Himalayan mountains? Did you say between China and India? Yes. Is that Nepal? Nepal is the correct answer. You have tied Ooh. Amanda at $450. Nepal is my favorite flag of the world. I have nothing to follow up with that. <laughs> uh, Amanda, you have $450. It is your turn. All right, spin it. Board game, Lomac, Joker. Hmm. Um, let's try home ec again. Okay, home ec for 100 This would give you $550. And nerds, I do believe Julie gets one last spin, right? Nerds, tell me. That is correct. She gets one more spin. 
Thank you, goddamn nerds. No, I appreciate it. You're welcome, much. I'm sure. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, Amanda, Homek for 100, here's the question. Salt, granulated garlic, oregano, black pepper, and turmeric are the ingredients to what popular brand of Latinx seasoning manufactured by Goya? Adobo. Oh, without a doubt, $550. Well done, Amanda. That is the correct answer. Julie, here's the sitch. You need a spin that will give you uh, $100 or more. More preferably, but at least $100. So this could be your last spin. Are you oh, ready? No. Okay, spin. Geography, home economics. No, that's not enough. And Amanda's a winner. Woo! Yay. Good job, Amanda. Really, thank you for playing. You leave us with a, a prize because you did beat the devil. And, awesome. Uh, and our thanks. Thank you so much. Thank you. And Amanda, it's your turn to play the bonus round. Are you ready? Yes. Okay, here's the bonus round board. We just spin until you lose or win. That's pretty okay. much this. This is yeah. how we, this is the fair coin flip to see if you get prizes or not. All right. Here's your first spin. 50, 50, well, fuck me. There you go, you're a winner. No, oh, Should have mentioned if you get a natural triple at any time, you automatically win. I mean, <laughs> well, wasn't that fun? Now we can play more games. What time is it? 8.18? Okay, we have 45 more minutes. I'm going to bring in someone else here. Let's see. Let's bring in... I completely lost where I was. Uh... Jonathan! Are you here? Hello! Hi, Jonathan. Hi. Are you ready to play? Of course I am. Oh, what's your hat? Your hat looks fun. It just has a B on it. But what is the B from? Um, I don't know. I got it for a dollar. <laughs> so bargain. <laughs> B for bargain. Well done. Let's announce our next player. He gets bargains from hats all the time. From Pittsburgh-ish, right? No, actually Pittsburgh. From actual Pittsburgh, it's Jonathan. How's Pittsburgh holding up in all this? Um, you know, we're building bridges, not walls. You have so many of them already. I know. Is that the joke? Yeah, I guess. Okay. Okay. Good. Ah. <laughs> uh... If there's one thing I've noticed about this quarantine, everyone's getting slightly snippier and slightly hornier. Can't tell which <laughs> oh, you very. <laughs> um, okay. There's Kim, thank you for watching, Kim. Go watch the pink moon. There's a pink, is that a movie or is there a moon outside? No, I thought it was a blue moon. Or like a super moon. I think it's the moon outside right now. Oh, uh, I don't care. All right. My pillow is too comfy. I'm not going to move to go see it. That's fair. It looks very comfortable. All right. Here's the next set of categories. Uh, science. Philadelphia again. Movies. The Simpsons. Plastic. Jonathan, you are a challenger, so you get to go first. Are you ready? Let's spin! The Simpsons, Joker, and a triple! Well, I guess I'll take The Simpsons for 200, Corey. I love your enthusiasm. It's... I'm just as enthused as how Blinky looks on those reels. <laughs> All righty, here's the question. Milhouse Van Houten's middle name is shared with the last name of what Italian dictator? Mussolini? Mussolini is the correct answer. You have $200. All right. Starting strong. Starting very strong. Maybe too strong? No, the perfect amount of strong. Amanda, it's your turn. Are you ready? Yep. Spin it. The Simpsons, Philadelphia, and a Joker. Let's do Simpsons. 
Okay, Simpsons for 100. The question is this. In 1997, The Simpsons broke, broke the record for longest running primetime animated television series, a record previously held by what Hanna-Barbera family comedy? seven years old at the time i don't know i'm ready to steal Corey. oh <laughs> john what do you steal with it's the flintstones it is the flintstones you have three hundred dollars <laughs> wow i love it john i'm very excited about this now you you're in you're in you're in the game now so ready Spin it! Movies, Joker, The Simpsons. Well, I'm going to stay with The Simpsons for 100. Okay, Simpsons for 100. Here's the question. Cletus and Brandine, the hillbilly stereotypes, have a multitude of children, but which child shares its name with a 2D action video game created by Gottlieb? I want to say Jub Jub, but that was the name of Selma's lizard. Um, crap. I, the only thing I can think of is the theme song from when him and Brandine were, Cletus, the slack-jawed yokel. Um, I, I, no idea. Uh, All right. Pong. Pong is incorrect. Amanda, chance to steal. Um, Brandine have a multitude of children, but which child shares its name with a 2D action video game created by Gottlieb? I have no idea. Atari. That's probably why it's Atari. Cubert. Oh, yeah. Oh. Uh, Amanda, it is your turn. Lucky for you. So here's your spin. Joker, the Simpsons science. Let's go with science. Okay, science. Aren't you a scientist? Yeah. I'm... So this could be great or embarrassing. It's probably gonna be embarrassing. <laughs> Fair enough. Here is the question in science. <clears throat> Puffy white or light gray clouds that look like floating cotton balls, usually floating below 6,000 feet in the sky, are known as what type of cloud? You don't study the sky. Um... I don't know. Okay. Take a guess. Just take a guess. I can't remember them. Fair enough. All right. Jonathan, $100 for the steal. Is it cumulus? You're so close in that you're absolutely correct. It is uh, cumulus. Yes. Well done. That was a good fake out. I know. Thank you. No problem. You have $400, Jonathan, and it is your turn. Um, spin it. Science, Joker, and a triple! Well, I guess I'll take science for 200, Corey. If you get this right, there is no way Amanda could win in one spin, and you'll have won the game. Fingers She'll win if she gets three Jokers and move against it's a question correctly. Oh, shit, she does? Yes, she does. Even if she doesn't have more than... Joe Joker's an automatic win. It's not $500. It's an automatic win. Jesus. Thank God the nerds are here. All right. <laughs> yep. You're welcome. All right, Jonathan. Here you go. In 1997, which IBM computer defeated Gary Kasparov to become the first computer system, system to defeat a reigning world chess champion in a standard time chess match? Bobby Fischer. Bobby Fischer is incorrect. Amanda, your chance to steal. In 1997, which IBM computer defeated Gary Kasparov to become the first time computer system to defeat a reigning world chess champion in a standard time chess match? Um. Um. I don't know. <laughs> it's... It's not Watson, sadly. It's Deep Blue something. No, uh, just Deep Blue. It was Deep Blue. So. Yep. Fair enough. 
enough. Amanda, it's your turn. Are you ready? Mm-hmm. Science, plastic, and the Simpsons. Let's try science again. Feel like okay, it. science again. Here's the question. When dipped in a chemical with a pH balance below 4.5, a strip of litmus paper will turn what color? Green? It's not green. No, John, for $50. Can you repeat it one more time? When dipped in a chemical with a pH balance below 4.5, a strip of litmus paper will turn what color? Purple? Red. Simply red. Oh. Learn something new every day. I hope everyone's learning a little bit of something, like how to use Zoom properly. Still trying to get the hang of it. (laughs) John, it's your turn. Spin it. Joker, science, plastic. Let's take plastic for 100. Okay, this will put you at 500. Here's the question in plastic. Uh, Where is it? Where are the plastic questions? Uh, Oh, here we go. Which tacky lawn ornament is the official city bird of Madison, Wisconsin? Would that be a flamingo? A pink flamingo is the correct answer. You have $500. Amanda, it is now do or die time. Oh. You get one last spin. You need three jokers. If you can get three jokers and answer the question, you'll win the game. Mm. So. I'm asking a lot. I'm, I'm asking probably more than what will happen. A lot. It is a lot. But remember, you did win a prize. I did. And that was off a triple. Exactly. I mean, (laughs) have you used up all your luck? Who knows? Shall we spin? Spin it. Now you're fucking done. John, you're a winner. You can hear Jack Berry near the end of the run just go, you fucking win. What the fuck ever? Uh, Amanda, thank you for playing. We appreciate you. Have fun. oh a pink pen. That's fun. Mine is mine is brown. It's shit brown. There it is. John, bonus round. Let's do it. All right. Say when. When. Two hundred. Well. well, that sucks. That does suck. But that means we have time for another player. Okay, let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Looking for Elliot. Elliot, unlock your. Here I am. I'm the nerd that's been helping you all this game. <laughs> I'm oh, the nerd. <laughs> it's the nerds. Yes, it is. <laughs> Fantastic. Welcome, Elliot. Elliot, you're going up against John. I also lived in Pit- I lived in Pittsburgh for seven years, so we got I got a Yinzer battle here. Oh, there we go. All right. Here I'm are... from Ohio. I only claim Pittsburgh by work association. Uh, I went to college there. Stayed for an extra three years. People do that here. Yeah, that, that's a thing. <laughs> it's because they get turned around and can't find a, a, an exit, through, not through the mountain, so they just stay. <laughs> yep. Yeah, the tunnels it's are a, scary. It's, it's a gravity well. <laughs> very scary. I don't like them. Here's your categories for the next game. We're back to Mean Girls. Birds, boards, around the world, goodies, lemons. Elliot, you are our challenger, so you get to go first. Okay, come on, jokers. Lemons, joker, goodies. I'll take goodies for 100. Okay, goodies for 100. Here's the question. What traditional German dish consists of a veal cutlet pounded flat, coated in breadcrumbs, and browned in lard or clarified butter? I have no clue. I'll say Wiener Schnitzel. Is that just a guess? That's just a guess. There's a wonderful German restaurant in Pittsburgh. Liz, what was the name of that restaurant we went to in Pittsburgh? Don't say the Hofbrau House. Okay, she don't know. Max and Irma's. (laughs) Right, it was just nice. It was nice. I liked it. Uh, yeah, Wiener Schnitzel is the correct oh, answer. Oh, cool. <laughs> I have $100. Whee. 
Yeah, I like Wiener Schnitzel a whole lot. It's very, it's fun to eat, fun to say. It's fantastic. Jonathan, it's your turn. This is taking me back to Game Show Marathon 8 with the category of lemons. The, I, these are the exact same questions. Oh, oh, okay, well, I hope I don't get lemons then. Okay, that's fine. Mean Girls, Mean Girls around the world. I'm going to take around the world for 50. Okay, interesting strategy. Here's the question. The St. Lawrence River separates Ontario, Canada from what U.S. state? Maine. Maine is incorrect. Oh. Elliot, chance to steal. I'm going to say um, New York. New York is the correct answer for $50. Oh, shit. Yeah, well. Was a, I mean, you pick a state in New England, you're one for chance to be right. You're fine. <laughs> Elliot, it's your turn. Okay. Are you ready? Come on, Jokers. Mean Girls, Joker, Joker. I'll take Good Eats for 100. I'll not touch that thing with a 10-foot pole. <laughs> uh, Amanda Seafried, it's not a thing. Um, anyway, here's the question in Good Eats. For $100, Alton Brown suggests, if you're out of butter to cook a steak in, cover it in what emulsion of oil and egg whites to get a similar browning reaction? Marmalade. Oh, oh. Well, no, incorrect, Jonathan. To steal. What was the? I wasn't paying attention to you because I was watching Little People, Big World. What was the question? <laughs> Alton Brown suggests if you're out of butter to cook a steak in, cover it in what emulsion of oil and egg whites to get a similar browning reaction? Olive oil. No, no, no. The emulsion of oil and egg whites we're looking for is mayonnaise. Oh. 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 Yeah. yeah. I mean, that was a badly worded question. Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> Go put it on your grilled cheese and then grill it. I did. I did that actually today. It was fantastic. So eat shit twice. How about that? Ooh. <laughs> Dumb fighting words. And it was light mayo too. So it was even worse. Jonathan, ready? Ben. Good Eats, Joker, world. Well, knowing with, let's go with Good Eats for 100. Okay, Good Eats for 100. Pouring milk into what cereal causes the familiar snapping, crackling, and popping from which the cereal's mascot derives its name? That would be Rice Krispies. Rice Krispies is correct, and you are on the board with $100. Elliot. Okay. Spin it. Around the world, Mean Girls. Board malfunction. The board goes back. <laughs> I'll, take the, I'll take the black square for 200, please. Fair enough. Mean Girls, Joker, Good Eats. Uh, good Eats for 100. Okay, Good Eats for 100. Which children's animated film is often praised by food service industry workers for a surprisingly accurate portrayal of a working restaurant kitchen? Now that's a badly worded question. Yes, can you repeat that again? Which children's animated film is often praised by food service industry workers for its surprisingly accurate portrayal of a working restaurant kitchen? Aladdin. I have no idea. <laughs> yep, absolutely right. No, it's not. It's definitely <laughs> Aladdin. Uh, Jonathan, if you can look over here away from the midgets for a second. Um, they are little people, and the movie is Ratatouille. The Ratatouille is correct. You have $100. I don't know if the little people would be able to ride the new ride coming to Epcot, <laughs> but I'm sure they would enjoy the theming. <laughs> uh, this is streaming live on the internet. Jonathan, it's your turn. Are you ready? Spin it. Joker, Joker, birds. Damn birds. <laughs> what would you like? Um, I'll go with birds for 200. Birds for 200. Here's our question in birds. Which advertising icon introduced in 1963 
urge children to follow your nose in reference to his yellow, red, pink, and black beak. Would that be Toucan Sam from Fruit Loops? It would be Toucan Sam from Fruit Loops. You have $400. We have bootleg, uh, you know, the like uh, multi meal bag of cereals when you're taking yeah. them out of the boxes? Our fake Fruit Loops are called Silly Circles. <laughs> it's That's miserable. silly. Yeah, to say the least. At least it's on brand. Elliot, you're done. All right, come on. Now I need three jokers. Good luck, good luck. Around the world, good eats. Around the world. Around the world for 100. Here is the question in the category around the world, wherever it may be. Here it is. Which Scandinavian nation is situated between the countries of Norway and Finland? Sweden. Sweden is the correct answer. You have $250. 250 to 400. And John, we're back to you. Spin it. Mean Girls, Lemons, please. I'm going to pick Lemons for 50. Lemons for 50. Here's the question. Perfect for dipping. What traditional Levantine dip is made from cooked mashed chickpeas blended with tahini, olive oil, salt, garlic, and lemon juice? Hummus. Hummus is the correct answer. You have $450. Yay. I love hummus. Aldi chocolate hummus. Oh, so good. Did you try it? Oh, the garlic dill they had like last week was delightful. Oh, really? Mm-hmm. I'll have to give it a shot. Now I'm hungry again. Thanks. Elliot, it's your turn. Okay, roll it. Lemons around the world and boards. Around the world for 50 Around the world for $50. Nobody likes birds. Terrible. They're not very tasty. Uh, chicken would beg to differ. Mm. Which Asian island nation's highest point is Mount Apo, situated on the island of Mindanao at an elevation of 9,692 feet above sea level? Japan. Japan is incorrect. Jonathan, for $50. And, and the... I think you get the win. The game. I think it would be the game, too. Yeah, Repeat the question the one more time. Sure. Uh, if I can find it. Here it is. Which Asian island nation's highest point is Mount Apo, situated on the island of Mindanao, at an elevation of 9,692 feet above sea level? Indonesia? <sighs> it's not Indonesia. No, it's the goddamn Philippines! Well, you didn't say anything about Jollibee, so, I mean, how was I supposed to know that? That's an excellent point. Sorry. Which Asian island nation also has a bunch of fucking Jollibees in it? There you go. That's uh, a betterly so, worded question. Thank you. Thank you. Jonathan, it's your turn. Spin it. Good Eats, Lemons. Good eats. Let's take Good Eats for 100 Okay, this is for $550. Here's the question. Not actually named for an emperor. What green salad of romaine lettuce and croutons dressed with lemon juice, olive oil, egg, Worcestershire sauce, anchovies, garlic, Dijon mustard, Parmesan cheese, and black pepper has its origins in Tijuana, Mexico? That would be a Caesar salad. A Caesar salad is correct. You have $550. And the win. And the win! Oh yeah, because John went last. Yeah, so I know how this game works. Right. You keep telling yourself that, Corey. <laughs> yeah. No. One day I'll actually read the rules. Who knows? Anyway, Elliot, thank you for playing. You yeah, were yeah, delightful. Well, yeah, thank yeah, you for yeah, helping with the rules. Hey, yeah. Well, I, there's a group of us. There's a, I'm, I'm, I'm also involved in a group that runs game shows on over on video chat, and we, we don't have these pro nice programs, and we got spreadsheets, very very elaborate spreadsheets. You should see the one for Lingo. <laughs> Oh God, I can't imagine. Oh, oh the, 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 it automatically judges the word, so it's it's I crazy. Surprisingly inadequate now. Everyone, give it a big hand to Elliot. Thank you for having me. Thank you, John. Time to try again, shall we? Let's do it. Let's hope. Maybe we'll make it to two spins this time. Ooh, two spins. Now you're getting daring. Let's see. Okay, here we go. 150, 75, 50, 275. Let it ride. 50, 75, 75, 475. One more. Oh, he said one more. That's a Yeah. 
Never say one more. Because oh. that's when you hit the devil, land on the whammy, pull out the third strike. That's what happens. Or you went one over on that's too much. Oh, always. Uh, we have time. Do I have questions? I have questions for one more game, I think. I can, I'll go ahead and resign my position as champion so another person can play too, so. Okay, Jonathan. Well, thank you for playing. Not a problem. Thanks for having me, Corey. No problem. So let's uh, make you go away. There you go. Let's get, oh, uh, where'd the dice go? Where'd the dice go? Here's the dice go. Okay, that's going to be Ms. Trivia, which I love. And Mike Sell. Ms. and Mike, come on down. Can I unmute yourselves? Do I have to unmute you? Oh. No, you can do it. Hi, Mike. Hello. Welcome back. Yes, I am very excited to be on another episode of your thing. Thank you very much. That's exactly what it's called, my thing. And Ms. Trivia, are you here with us as well? She's here. She's unmuting herself. Hillary, you're up. Hillary, where are you? <laughs> I see her. Oh. Oh. Yeah. Here, here I am. Sorry. There you are. No worries. Hi. Welcome, okay. Welcome. Sorry. Not a problem. Okay. We have. Hello, fellow subscriber player. Pilot. We have Hillary and Mike. That's my husband's name. Oh, don't. He's not here. Cause no, we'll just, no. Okay, good. Because we'll just be screaming. But he saw the graphic and he said, oh, Joker's Wild. Oh, good. It's recognizable. I did yes. good. Yay. I think I drew that. I think I drew that. Yeah, I drew that. It's been a while. I don't know how to draw anymore. Uh, we've restarted because we still have questions available. Um, if I run out of questions in one of these category, it'll just count as a joker. So, Flags of the World once again, Geography, The Frat Pack, Home Economics, and Board Games. Hillary, you were here first in the chat, so you will go first in the game. Are you ready? Okay. Let's spin that. Joker, flags of the world, and a triple! Woo! Okay. Strong. Let's go for that triple. Flags of the world, here's the question. Wherever it may be. Here it is. Ordem e progresso, a Portuguese phrase that translates to order and progress, appears in, a, in green on a white field on the Ouro Verde, the flag of what South American country? Oh, Brazil. Brazil is the correct answer. You have $200. Woo! Mike, it is now your turn. Are you ready? Oh, I'm so ready. Let's spin it. Board game, geography, the world. Oh, uh, it's like board games. Okay, board games for 50. Here's the question. According to Hasbro, what popular dice game was invented by a Canadian couple who played it on their yacht with their friends? Yahtzee? Yahtzee is the correct answer. You have $50. There you go, that was easy. Now I know why it's called that. Now you know why it's called Yahtzee. Because Yacht. And yes. Hillary, are you ready? I am. Okay, let's spin it. Homek, Homek, and a triple! Oh, God. Uh oh. <laughs> okay. Homek for the triple. Home economics for $200. Here is the question. I never had Homek in school. I did once. It was nice. I wish I had it for more. It was eighth grade and we made cupcakes. According to household tip queen Heloise, what seasoning should you pour on a fresh red wine stain in order to absorb as much liquid as possible? What? Salt? Good old fashioned table salt is the correct answer. You have $400. Mike, you have some catching up to do. I, it seems like I do, yeah. Ready to spin? Oh, yeah, let's. Flags of the world, Joker, and the Frat Pack. Uh, let's go Flags of the world. OK, Flags of the world for 100. Here's the question. 
Which U.S. state flag is the only state flag to feature a Union Jack? Oh, um, Hawaii. Hawaii is the correct answer. You have $150. Cool. There's lots of correct answers. This is nice. Hillary, you're $100 okay. away from locking it up. All right, spin it. Flags of the world, the fat pack, flags of the world. Uh, let's go flags of the world for the possible win. For the possible win, here's the question. Guatemala, Haiti, and Mozambique are the only three UN member states who have a depiction of what type of weapon on their country's flag? A bow and arrow? It is not a bow and arrow. Mike, to steal $100. Uh, can you say those countries again? Yes, I can. Guatemala, Haiti, and Mozambique. I think... Oh, I'm trying to remember. I <laughs> Weird things on flags. I've, I've definitely looked up. I'm going to say it's a... A machete? No, surprisingly. They're the only three countries. Oh, is it, is it guns? Gun. Yeah, I couldn't remember if Mozambique was the machete or the AK-47. <laughs> Probably both, honestly. But... Um, so no money on the board, no money changes hand. Mike, it's your turn. All right. Go for this. Go for this. The frat pack, Homac, board games. Oof. Well, out of those three, I guess I'll take board games. Board games for 50 more dollars. Here's the question. What board game known by detractors as Sex in a Box took off in popularity when Johnny Carson and Ava Gabor demonstrated the game on The Tonight Show. Twister? Twister is the correct answer. You have $200. I mean, that's why you play it, I guess, right? There, I don't know. I've never been invited to play Twister with anyone. I just, Aww. I just want it to be liked. Just kidding. I think I played in college. It was last thing was Hillary, it's your turn. Is that what you're going to do on Zoom next week? <laughs> yeah, we're playing we're playing the uh, Zoom Twister. Everyone get your own wheel and your own board and just show your butt to the camera. Hillary, it's your turn. Spin. You have four hundred dollars. Joker, geography, and a Joker. Hey, geography for the triple. For two hundred dollars, this will get you six hundred dollars, and that would be a pretty hefty score. Hillary, here is the question in geography. Which American monument sits at the intersections of the borders of Utah, Colorado, New Mexico, and Arizona? Can you repeat that? Which American what? monument sits at the intersections of the borders of Utah, Colorado, New Mexico, and Arizona? The four states, the four corners. The four corners is the correct answer. Well done, you have $600. Woo! Mike, you need a you need a triple joker. Well, no one's hit one yet, so maybe this is it then. This might be it. You ready? Oh, I'm so ready. Nope, that ain't gonna do it. Hillary's our winner! Oh, thank you! All right, Hillary. Well done, Mike. Thank you for playing. Thank, thank you for coming you. every night, every every time we do one of these. And uh, have a great rest of your night. Okay, he muted himself, but that was nice. Uh, Hillary, you ready to go? Okay, let's go. 150, 150, 75. Okay. Let's go. 50, 50, 25. You're halfway there. Let's go. 200, 150, 25, 875. You're almost there. Okay, let's well, go. Right. 75, 50, 100, you're a winner! Oh, that's fantastic. And unfortunately, that's all the time we have for actual games of trivia. I'm pretty much out of questions. So Hillary, I'm gonna send you a prize in your email. You look okay. forward to that. Yay! And um, I'm gonna get, I'm gonna do some audience game here. Let's see who, Nick, you haven't played yet. Nick, come on in. Oops. Uh, hi there. <laughs> hi, Nick. I can hear you. 
Yeah, I'm, I'm not on camera at the moment. That's fair. That's absolutely fine. You don't have to do. You don't. You can do whatever you'd like. This is. Uh, boop. There it is. There we go. Okay. Ready? Yep. Let's go. Two hundred twenty by fifty. Two seventy-five. Keep going or stop. Uh, let's keep going. 150, 50. 475, you're almost halfway there. Let's go again. 200, 200, 100. Oh. <laughs> well, I got to go for it now. <laughs> 50. Oh! oh, come on. Well, that's certainly, that's a thing. That's a thing that happened. I am sorry. Bye. It was nice seeing you. <laughs> um, let's see. Uh, Mike, come back. Come back. Come back, Mike. Okay. There, okay. there you are. We're going to give you a chance to play the bonus round since you've been hanging out. And you deserve a chance to win. Oh, okay. Well, I'll play for my Patreon money back then, I guess. <laughs> Pretty much, yeah. Give them Patreon uh, refunds today. So, you ready? Of course, let's spin it. 50, 125. Cool. Let's, let's keep going. Amanda would like to know, what is the gel behind you? Oh, um, it's, it's supposed to be my DNA. Um, I have no idea if that's actually what it is or not, but that's what I was sold. So, if you kill someone, they can just take that and just be like, this is his DNA. Let's find if it matches the thing on his fucking wall that he killed the he killed the person. Um, it is so it is edited in some way. I don't know how. There, it's some kind of artistic interpretation they do to make it look pretty on a canvas. But yeah, mm, I don't like that. But it's actually really cool. So I do. But it means if anyone wants a sample, instead of having to like swab me, I can just be like, look at it. It's right there. It would be easier to just collect your garbage. Then try to go in your home and look at that. But. Yeah, or you do the thing where they like, oh, do you want some water? Here you go. And then like, yeah. you want something to eat? Here, have a cigarette. We'll just pick it up afterwards. Ha ha ha. Amanda thinks it's pretty cool. And it is pretty cool. I like it. Where'd you get it from? Uh, it's a website called DNA11.com. DNA11.com. And they also do, some... you can get like a fingerprint like blown up and in fancy colors or like a lip print. Stuff like that. So much evidence we can just turn into art. I oh yeah, it. basically all the stuff you use to like unlock your phone now, you can you could have had it made into art like five years ago. Theoretically, you could have done it hundreds of years ago. It's called a portrait. I have a fancy phone though. Just use. My oh face. yeah, well, that's for well. Actually, yeah. Now that you just use your face, like I guess a portrait is the same thing now. Yep, we've <laughs> we've we've gone full circle. Uh, this was fun. Ready for your next spin? Anyway, yeah, let's. <laughs> 150, 25, 200. Five. Oh, that's a big one. All right. 75, 200, 25. You're 150 bucks away. All right, let's go. 50, 25, 50, 95. <laughs> We've been here before. Nice. All right, well, let's. 150, 75, 50 euro winner. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Can I, do I, have a, do I have a theme song? I have that. <laughs> Not what I was looking for. Thank you, Mike, for playing. Thank you, everyone, for joining us. Uh, this has been a whole lot of fun. And we're going to do something similar like this again next week. And we'll keep doing this every week until we can go outside. Uh, everyone, thank you so much. This will be on Twitch and all the other places very soon. And probably on YouTube in a better quality. What with me figuring out how to use my microphones, edit it out. So, thank you so much, everyone. And thanks, Corey. Night. Thanks for having us. We'll do it again. Thank you. Thank you.